Memphis Jack Ivey. Live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We're taking you down to Phil Campbell, Alabama, where there was a destructive tornado that struck uh, this afternoon. And we're going to be taking you on the scene. We've got exclusive footage uh, from Phil Campbell, Alabama. And we're going to be taking you to Phil Campbell to show you some of the damage. Uh, I can tell you before uh, you start watching, it is devastating. Uh, several homes destroyed, several businesses destroyed. Uh, the stew heavily damaged, apartment complexes totally gone. Uh, several lives have been lost, and before it's all over, I'm sure several more will be uncovered in a tragic situation in Phil Campbell, Alabama. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and TV 97, Jack Ivey Broadcasting, exclusive uh, footage. And uh, we appreciate you being out there. Hopefully you'll share this with your friends and pray for these families that's lost loved ones. Once again, please pray for the families that's lost loved ones. As you can see, uh, emergency vehicles, even school buses uh, hauling out people, uh, hauling them to shelter, and the ones that had minor injuries. Uh, several of the folks were carried to area hospitals from even Red Bay to Russellville to the Florence and the Shoals area to Scambia. And once again, uh, I'm going to warn you before you start seeing some of this footage that's coming up. Uh, we had access to um, some amazing video. We ended up having to park uh, and just get out and walk up there and uh, see it. So uh, thank you for joining us on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97 for exclusive coverage of the tornado that strikes Phil Campbell, Alabama on this April 27, 2011. Most of the damage as you're looking to see and some of the damage here was actually on the other side of town. Uh, coming up from the road that joins uh, 43 that goes down beside the high school. But we will show you that footage. And thanks to uh, Mr. Terrell Potter and the Phil Campbell Police Department, you can see uh, electrical wires down everywhere. And, of course, I was having to be really careful, uh, assuming that uh, they were all off, but uh, assuming also they could be on, so you don't want to take any chances at all. And uh, lots of folks in Phil Campbell, uh, lots of damage. This is minor of what's, what's actually out there. And even I didn't get to see uh, a lot of it because it was getting dark. But we will be going back to Phil Campbell to get you more exclusive footage from Phil Campbell, Alabama. Once again, the tornado that strikes on this April 27th. Please play for the families that's lost loved ones. Uh, many lives were lost, uh, I'm sure from the way they talk, uh, that several more are expected to be found in the rubble. A makeshift morgue was set up in uh, Phil Campbell there. And I'll let you watch the footage from this point here. set up to go out and to search the areas and try to clear the roads as much as they can so we can get to the residents to search them. And once that's done, you know, we're, we're going to go through again and do a, another grid search of, of every place. Then. We're doing a, a search now going as much as we can, but then we'll do a grid search. That means a, a complete search of the property. And then we'll know if there's anybody missing. We'll be searching specifically in the areas that they'd be missing. Uh, we've got agents 
agencies from all around that have come in to help. Uh, fire departments, uh, ambulances. We've actually got doctors and nurses that have come in from hospitals. We've got a triage system set up in here. Uh, people are being brought in by ambulance here and treated, and they're being uh, transported to locations based on their injuries. Okay. Critical patients sent one place, walking injury to another place, okay. and so forth. Russell Hospital is about to full capacity now because we, of our injuries plus some out in the county. So we're having to send them other places now. So this is one of the most devastating things that this area has ever faced. Our next steps right now until dark is to continue to search as much as we can. If we know that someone's missing, even through dark, we'll be searching. Uh, other than that, we'll start again in the morning at first light, and then that's why I plan to set up a, a, a grid search, searching everywhere. That'll start tomorrow? That'll start in the morning, first thing, at first light. So you continue searching, continue searching tonight, but if you know somebody's missing... We'll, we'll continue to search tonight if we know. Okay. Otherwise, then in the morning, we're going to go back and do the, the grid search, and hopefully find everybody that's deceased or whatever. What, what services Where, are the best needed? If someone... Find, learns about this and they want to help out, what is the best way to help? <clears throat> Tomorrow, we're going, to like, we're going to do the search and, or the recovery. And after that, then we'll start to clean up. I mean, we're, we're not really concerned that much about clean up right now. Okay. We're concerned about people, the properties and things. We'll deal with properties and a priority. People so, right now are a priority, and then property, and then so forth. So um, the the other oh, gentleman with the chainsaws and the backhoes, Chainsaw, they're just they're clearing the roads, clearing trying to get roads, it, transportation clear. Tomorrow again, we're going to be utilizing utilizing those same things. We need people to clear the roads and uh, hopefully to get to the power company and get ready to start doing some uh, reconstruction of power. He didn't back home. Was people. the power shut off for the live wires? You know, as far as we know, all in this area, the power is off. Okay. Where was the greatest destruction, devastation? Like, where, where was there the path of the... From here, I would say south of Phil Campbell, coming in on Highway 237 in the College Road, coming up in front of the high school, uh, crossing the road, getting in, in the vicinity of the City Hall, Brown Street, Bonner Street, and then traveling on to Highway 81, crossing it, and going into the East Franklin community. That's the general path. How much damage uh, is to the school? It's uh, very severe damage to the school, to the back and also across its uh, south end here. We've not been in, in, on the inside. We don't know about the inside structure, but it's, it was hit pretty hard, as oh, you can see right there. Talking about major damage, major losses. Major, major, major damage. Uh, school buses. We've lost some school buses. What building was this over across in front of us? This is just a, a residence. It was a house here that uh, belonged to uh, the guy that's got the parts store here in town. And then this is one of our residents right here. So it actually came right up through here? Right up through here, straight across. Is this the same tornado that maybe, a, I don't know my directions too well, what about coming through Hackleburg? Through it, Hackleburg. And sure. came right up through it here? 
This area right here is the car wash, the, the field chemical clinic and drugstore. This is Jack Ivey live in Field Camel, Alabama, where he's, you can see, even though it's getting dark, just devastation in Field Camel. Got uh, Terrell, uh, this is as bad as I've, I've ever seen. It's the worst I've ever witnessed, Jack. We've, uh, we're devastated. Our town is uh, crippled up real bad. Of course, a Loss lot of, of life, that's the main thing. We've lost some, some citizens, and that's, uh, that's what's really hard on us. Of course, a lot of a lot of folks are coming together to help out from all over, and uh, of course, that's what it takes: people helping each other, right? Volunteers from everywhere coming in from uh, all different agencies. Apartment building right on the right down here, two-story apartment building, and it's completely gone. These were what apart housing, housing, housing apartment, housing apartments, Underwood Circle housing apartment. And man, they're just they're gone. Yeah, they're, they're heavily uh, damaged. And then there was a two-story apartment complex right here on the right. And it's completely gone. Right there. Man. Several houses in this area right here are completely destroyed, as you can see on both sides of the road. Of course, I know we've had several fatalities. Uh, and of course, it's going to take hours to, to search to find more people. Uh, not a fair question. Uh, I know there's probably still a lot of people, folks not accounted for, right? Yes, we still have several people that's unaccounted for, and we're trying to determine, you know, how many more may be missing. We're still going back and searching areas where uh, we can get to them. And then also, uh, there's been a lot of people treated, I'd say, between them. 75 and 100 people at least been treated at the triage center up here. They just stripped it clean through here, didn't they? Oh, yeah. yeah. Jack Ivey, once again, we're in Phil Campbell, Alabama, and uh, we're talking with Mr. Terrell Potter and looking at some of the devastation. This is where the clinic and what else was that over here? The clinic and the drugstore is right there. Okay. As you can see, it's pretty much totally destroying. Do you have any extra flashlights? I sure don't. Of course, uh, nightfall is uh, beginning to come, and uh, it is unreal at the folks. And of course, I know, uh, Carol, I've never, I've never actually. I've seen where tornadoes have been, but I've never actually been able to see like this up close and destruction. It's just amazing the devastation that the tornado does. And you can see this for a long way. I don't know just how wide this uh, tornado was, but it goes for a long way across this hill here and on back through the rest of the town on the other side. It's what, close to a mile wide or something, maybe? Yeah, it's, it's probably a mile wide. Looks like a lot of damage back toward uh, Haleville, that direction, too. A lot too. of damage down through there. In fact, they just don't have that road open. How much damage are to the two churches right here? Well, this is the Methodist church here, and this just got roof damage to it pretty good. The other one's not too much structure damage to it. One out on 81 is completely demolished. Which one was on 81? I can think of the name of that T. No, that's fine. Mountain, Mountain View. Mountain, Mountain View. View. Do you have any idea of where it first sat down at? Yeah. Just somewhere south of town here. We're not real sure. 
just how far down that way where it started. Of course, you know, we know it was on the ground in Hackleburg. It may have, it's probably that same, same tornado. Probably was the same tornado. And uh, after it left here, East Franklin community was hit real heavy. Got some, uh, I think, some fatalities out there and several injuries in that area. My a lot of structure damage. So it's not just here, it's, it's countywide. It's one end of the county to the other. Carol, how much, uh, how much damage in the downtown area to the downtown buildings? We're right in the downtown area right now. A lot of roof damage to them, and of course the windows in the front's blown out. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, the awnings and things of that nature has been blown off of it. Uh, the most of the uh, major uh, damage, structure-wise, was like at the high school and the housing uh, complex and just regular dwellings. There's no telling how many houses, we don't have any idea that's totally destroyed. How much uh, warning did the folks get uh, maybe to find us? Sometimes it sneaks up on you, huh? how, how much had, warning? We had a, a, a good warning. They'd been putting out the information all day on it. And uh, <clears throat> we had a pretty good bit of warning. We've got a good shelter over at the uh, police, uh, over at the community center. And it, of course, was open. The Baptist Church up here was open as a shelter. And we had several people that took advantage of it. Right. Sometimes we all wait to the last minute, though, right? Oh, yeah. yeah I know. The, I've been guilty of that. That's the bad thing. You don't want to do that. No. This should be a lesson if we don't do that. Appreciate you, Terrell. You betcha. I've been over here since the time I found it. That's the call. I went out on Huh? Hey, 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 right out here. Hey, I didn't get nobody to come help me.
This Jack Ivy live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. And we appreciate you joining us this evening on your hometown station. The devastation that hit Bill Campbell, Alabama this past evening. Do me a favor. And you see the devastation that hit Phil Campbell, Alabama. On the 27th of April, 2011, boy, I'll tell you what, it was something else. And, folks, they have got lots and lots of work to do in the morning. Uh, they have called off uh, most all the rescues tonight and uh, our searches tonight because of naturally darkness and uh, the danger of it. Um, unofficially, uh, when I left, they were... Uh, already 18 fatalities just in Phil Campbell that was known and several other fatalities in surrounding communities. So a lot of work to be done tomorrow. Uh, still a lot of folks uh, missing. Uh, just a terrible situation. Please pray for the folks of Phil Campbell, Hackleburg, East Franklin, Russellville, and Tuscaloosa, all the areas that had devastation loss over in Belmont, and some folks in Red Bay, Alabama, had some trees down that damaged merchandise. But, folks, uh, the merchandise, it can be replaced, but lives cannot. So let's especially pray for the ones that lost loved ones. I saw many people tonight that come up and saying, I don't know where my mom's at, or I don't know where my sister's at. I don't know where my brother's at. The home is not there, and we don't know where they're at. And seeing their face uh it was it was really really sad to know uh for them not to know how sad it was so please once again pray for the families of phil camel and hackleberg and the surrounding areas of the ones that lost loved ones once again this has been exclusive coverage from the wrmg tv 12 tv 97 news center on location in phil campbell alabama i'm jack ivy for the ivy broadcasting company <laughs>